Hi guys, Ozzy Griffin here. I'm doing one in my long neglected um, Economics Made Easy uh, series. Now, if you've ever seen the movie A Beautiful Mind, you know about a man by the name of John Nash. Nash created game theory. Uh, in fact, in more accurate terms, and you'll see it in the documentary The Trap, links could be anywhere, uh, a great series by the BBC, you'll see that he developed it in accordance with, uh, in concordance with the Rand Corporation. Now, the idea behind game theory, which a lot of people use to base their business negotiations off, is the idea of a poker game. You've got your hand, there might be good cards, there might be bad, some of what you're saying may be bluffing, there's only one big pile of chips uh, in the middle of the table. And your job is to win it all. It all resets at the end anyway, so why not go for the big, big uh, win? Now, the Rand Corporation developed this because it was very useful for second-guessing uh, the Russians um, during the Cold War. That's fine for a Cold War with nuclear armaments and basically the whole world in the middle. And what I find is that it also led to a lot of heartless, ruthless reeling, wheeling and dealing, and it was mostly psychopaths in uh, business who endorsed that it be used there, when the truth is the tried and tested method of long-term good customer provider relations and relationships work better. Was it good and bad? I personally am not a fan. In fact, I plan to do a rant about it. And, yeah, it's just not good. Anyway, I'll tell you why in my second video. You have a good day.